and welcome to Babies and Toddlers. We are so excited to have Alan Windsor reading his book, Mac and Bob, The Party Problem, today. We'd like to say a special thanks to Alan, director of Little Door Books, for sharing his story and his song with us today. Today's song is the Washing Day Song with Mac. Check out Little Door Books' website, which is in the description below. Please remember to email me or share your pictures online with the hashtag DrawWithRachel, P-S-G-S. Hello, I'm Mac from the Mac and Bob books and I've just been hanging my washing up outside. It is such a lovely sunny day. I was even washing my very big pants. Can you see my huge pants? Unfortunately, they stretched in the wash, so they're really big now. But Bob and I can get in them together. Anyway, I thought I would come inside and read you this story. Mac and Bob and their party problem. Does anybody like parties? I love parties. Lots of ice cream and things like that. Now then, what we're going to do is read this story, Mac and Bob and the party problem. Now this story was written by Alan Windrum. And all the pictures were drawn by Dave Sutton. And they're amazing. I'll show you some of the pictures too. But first of all, I thought we'd read the story. Here we go. Oh, look at the front. It's got this book belongs to you. You could put your name in there too. Here we are. Mac and Bob and the party problem. Mac and Bob were sitting in the kitchen enjoying raspberry jam sandwiches and a cup of tea when all of a sudden there was a knock at the door. <gasps> I wonder what that is, said Mac. Bob scampered into the hall to find a large envelope lying on the doormat. <gasps> See that there? <gasps> yes. Oh, that looks interesting, said Mac. They opened the envelope and as they did, lots of sparkly stars, party poppers and streamers jumped out alongside a brightly coloured invitation to a party. Oh, look at all the poppers and things there. Oh, woo, woo, we cried, Mac. I love parties. Lots of food, lots of music, lots of dancing and lots more food. <gasps> I like food and music and dancing too, said Bob. And look, there's Bob bouncing away and all the food and music and dancing. <gasps> oh dear, said Mac as he slowly sat down in his chair and put his head in his hands. Oh no. The party is tonight and all of my clothes are dirty. <gasps> Don't worry, Max, said Bob. It'll be fine. We will wash them all and then you'll have lots of clean clothes to choose from. Yippee, said Mac, bouncing out of his chair. <gasps> Let's do it. I love parties. So Mac gathered up all his clothes which were very dirty from working on the farm. He even took off the ones he had on. Bob put them in the washing machine and watched them go round and round and round and round again. And look, there's Bob and the washing machine and everything going round and round and round. Mac sat in his underwear. With a big smile on his face and another large cup of tea. Looking out of the window, Mac noticed the trees swaying backwards and forwards. It was getting very windy. Brilliant, he said. Everything is going so well. All my clothes will dry really quickly in this wind. See that there? As soon as the washing was done, Mac and Bob had all the clothes in the basket and they went outside to hang them up on the washing line. Mac was still in his underwear, but he was in such a good mood that he started to dance and sing his washing day song. 
Now, I'm going to do the washing day song outside, or I might have even done it already, I can't remember. And I've got my big pants, and the song goes, pick up a pig and put them on your pants. Hang them on the line and watch them dance. Dance to the left, dance to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. And look, there's me singing my washing day song with Bob, Bob the dog there. And look, I'm in my underwear. I'm hanging up my big pants. I think that was before they stretched in the wash. As he sang, Mac hung up all his washing. You don't put your wellies on the washing line, said Bob. <gasps> oh well, I'll just wear them, said Mac. There's Mac wearing his wellies, still in his underwear. And look, there's Bob with a welly on his head. Bob laughed and laughed as he watched Mac, dressed in only his underwear and wellies, dance his way back into the house. <gasps> Together. They sat by the fire and had another jam sandwich. <gasps> we do like our jam sandwiches in this house. Outside, the wind was getting stronger and stronger, blowing the trees and bushes backwards, all backwards and forwards, to the left and to the right. Oh, look, look at them blowing everything backwards and forwards. And look, there's a big whoosh. So can you do a big whoosh? We're going to start over here. Can you wiggle your fingers? And a whoosh, here we go. One, two, three, whoosh. And can you come back again? One, two, three, whoosh. That's a really big wind. Look at that big whoosh there. <sighs> When Mac and Bob looked out of the window, all of his clothes had gone. <gasps> oh dear, thought Bob. Mac ran outside. Only the pegs were left on the washing line. Bob, Bob, what are we going to do? All my clothes have blown away. <gasps> Bob started running around the farm, looking for the missing clothes. And there's Bob, look. He's looking on the haystacks, he's looking over the fence, and in the barn... <gasps> in the barn, he found Mac's dungarees wrapped around the cow. Oh, I like this new scarf, said the cow. It's keeping me very cosy. <sighs> Oops, said Bob. There's the cow with the scarf on his head. Mac began looking for his clothes along the lane. When he saw Mr. Green, the postman, cycling towards him, he, he realised huh, he was still in his underwear. So he quickly jumped into the bushes and waited until Mr. Green passed by. Look, it's Mr. Green, the postman there. Can you see Mac behind the bushes? That's right. In the yard, the chickens were happily clucking around with Mac's now very dirty socks on their heads. Further up the lane, Bob found the pig rolling in the mud with Mac's shirt on his back. <coughs> I think this colour really suits me, said the pig. Oh dear, thought Bob, everything is dirty again. And there's the pig. See the pig there? That's it with Mac's shirt on. Oh my goodness. On his way to the field, Mac had to hide under the bridge to avoid Mrs. Flower the baker, and then jump behind the tractor to avoid Poppy and Polly Brown as they came sticking, <laughs> skipping down the road. By now, even the underwear that Mac had on was dirty. Oh dear, said Mac, what am I going to do? He sat down on a bucket and watched as Gilbert the horse came trotting down the road, wearing Mac's best jacket on his back and his underpants on his head. <gasps> oh, do you like my new look, said Gilbert. It came by airmail. And look, there's Mac, 
hiding under the bridge. Can you see Mac hiding under the bridge? That's right. And hiding behind the tractor. And look, there's Gilbert the horse with Mac's underpants on his head. <sighs> Once Bob had gathered up all the very dirty clothes, he found Mac looking very sad. What am I going to wear now, Bob, said Mac. All my clothes are dirty and it's nearly time for the party. Suddenly, Bob spotted something in the distance. He told Mac his great idea. Wow, wee Bob, that's brilliant, said Mac. Let's do it. Standing tall, in the middle of the field was the old scarecrow who was wearing the only clean clothes on the farm. Look what Bob had seen. He'd seen the scarecrow who was wearing only clean clothes. And look, there's Mac, really excited. And there's Bob there too. What an amazing idea, Bob said, Mac. As they made their way to the village hall for the party. Mac was wearing the scarecrow's old clothes with brightly coloured patches on his elbows and knees and straw sticking out everywhere. There's Mac. Can you see him? That's right. Wearing all the scarecrow's clothes. And when they arrived, they opened the door to find it wasn't just any old party. It was a Fancy dress party! Does anybody like dressing up? <gasps> I love dressing up. What a great night they had with music and dancing and lots and lots of food. Look at what an amazing party that has been. <gasps> Look at all that food and everybody's dressed up at the party. Afterwards, Mac and Bob skipped along the road back to the farmhouse, carrying their prize for the best dressed scarecrow at the party. I love parties, said Mac, especially fancy dress parties. Bob smiled and said, so do I, Mac, so do I. The end. And there's the last picture there, you can see the going away back to the house. Now, did you know at the back of this book, Mac and Bob and the party problem, you get a CD with songs and it's got the washing day song on and it's also got the Wow Wee song and it's got the story read by Vivian French and it's got the We're Going to a Party song too. So if you want that book, you can maybe order it and you get a CD too. Well, I've got to go and tidy up my pants now and see if my washing's all dry. So maybe see you again. And I was thinking maybe next time I could read you our first book, Mac and Bob and the Unexpected Visitor. Okay, I'm going to go back outside. I better put my sunglasses back on. See you later. Bye. We're going to a party. We're going to have some fun. So come along with Mac and Bob and dance with everyone. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Shake your body too. Woo! Wave your arms. And jump around That's what we like to do So clap, clap, clap your hands Shake your body too Wave your arms And jump around Hello! I'm Mac and I'm here on my farm and I'm going to sing some songs for you. First of all, I brought my washing bag. And I, th can anybody think what song we might do? That's right, the washing day song. And I've got my music. 
But first I'm going to show you the actions. So what you've got to do, pretend you've got a peg, go like this. Pick up a peg and put it on your pants. Hang them on the line and watch them dance. Dance to the left, dance to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Brilliant. And then we're going to do a uh, breeks and we're going to sweep. For breeks and breeks are Scottish trousers. So sweep to the left, sweep to the right. Soon we'll be dry and clean and bright. Then we've got shirt and we're going to go flip to the left, flap to the right. That's it. Flip to the left, flap to the right. Soon we'll be dry and clean and bright. And then we've got socks and we're going to rock to the left, rock to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. And then we've got wellies and we're going to move like jelly. So we wibble to the left, wobble to the right. Soon we'll be dry and clean and bright. Brilliant. I'm going to get the music on and we're going to do the washing day song. Hold on. Here it is. Right, washing day song. Here we go. Put it on your pants, hang them on the line, and watch them dance. Dance to the left, dance to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Dance to the left, dance to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Oh, I love a washing day. Here we go. Pick up a peg and put it on your socks. Oh, my socks! Hang oh. them on the line and watch Here them are. rock. Rock to the left, rock to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Rock to the left, rock to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Right. Come on, Bob. Get the washing up. My shirt this time. Must be my shirt this time. Pick up a peg. Pick up a peg. And put it on your breeks. Breaks. Oh no! Hang them breaks. on the line and watch them sweep. Sweep to the left. Sweep to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Sweep to the left, sweep to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. There we go, look at that. You know, in Scotland, we call trousers breeks. That's right. Yes. Right, a shirt this time. Pick a peg and put it on your shirt. Yes. Hang it on, Hang the, it on line the line and oh. watch it flit. Flit to the left, flap, flap to the right. Soon it'll be dry and clean and bright. Flip to the left, flap, flap to the right. right. Soon it'll be dry and clean and bright. Brilliant! You know, you can wash anything and oh. hang it on the line. Up a peg and put it on your wellies. Hang them on the line oh, and they'll jelly. move like jelly. Wibble to the left, wobble to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Wibble to the left, wobble to the right. Soon they'll be dry and clean and bright. Oh yes, I love a washing day. That's great! Here's my book. Mark and Bob and a party problem. And you'll see my pants flying away. It'll be brilliant! See you later. 
See you later. Bye. If you want to grab some paper and pens or maybe some crayons and you can draw with me again this week. Now I'm drawing my favourite bit from today's book where Mac gets the exciting news that he's been invited to the party. woo So I'm drawing his head and his hat first. We better remember his yellow t-shirt. I don't know if you remember that but he was wearing a pretty awesome yellow t-shirt. And maybe you want to draw the same thing as me or maybe you want to draw something different. Maybe you had a different bit that was your favourite part of the story. So I'm drawing his dungarees here that were pretty cool. I'm not very good at drawing legs so maybe you'll be able to do a better job of drawing this than I can. That's if you're drawing Mac, maybe you're drawing something else from the story. Now we had a little pocket on his dungarees which we can draw now. I think that was red. It was maybe pink and orange as well. Maybe I've got that wrong. You might remember better than me. But we'll colour that in red. And we'll get some orange and then some pink as well. Got to have our wellies on, especially if it's raining outside and we want to jump in muddy puddles. We'll colour that in pink. And then we'll go back to the yellow t-shirt and finish colouring that in. Oh, and I've just realised I've not done his hands. So I'm going to have to go back and do his hands after this. Here we go. And then did you notice the top of his hat had a yellow fluffy ball on it? And then his cool orange hair. I loved his orange hair. It was really great. So I'll call that an orange. Hopefully you'll do a better job than I'm doing. I'm not doing a great job of colouring in today. There we go. That's his hair done. And then we've got to do his hat. I don't know if you noticed his tartan hat. It was brilliant. So we've got a tartan hat. I think it had some purple on it. And then maybe some green as well. We'll do dark green. And then we'll add some light green as well for the tartan effect. Again, you might be able to do a better job of this than I am. Now, we've done Mac, but we've got to do some musical notes because there would be loads of fun music if you were at a party. I don't know what your favourite party music is, but I love listening to some music at the parties. Maybe you do some games like Pass the Parcel. Here we go. And then our favourite food, pizza! Have some pizza at the party. Or you could draw whatever your favourite food is. I'm drawing some pizza just now. We'll put some cheese on it. But whatever your favourite party food is or party music, maybe you'll draw that as well. Put some cheese on and then we'll put some pepperoni. And you could draw either your favourite bit from this book or maybe your favourite party scene if you were inviting your friends round as well. Thank you so much, Alan. Now the lovely bunions are going to sing our bees and tea songs together with us today. So grab your teachers and let's go! Hello, everybody. It's great to be back with you. I hope you're ready to join in and sing along with us because it's music time, it's music time. Come and join us in the circle. It's music time, it's music time. Come and join us now. Let's wave hello, let's wave hello. Come and join us in the circle. Let's wave hello, let's wave hello. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. Whee! If 
We have a new song called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. And in this song, we're going in a rocket. But if you have a teddy or a soft toy, maybe you could run and get it. And so you could, you and your soft toy and you and your teddy could go to the moon. Okay, here we go. on the moon, which it might be, we've ended up at Old MacDonald's farm. And on the farm there's a dog, and a sheep, and a frog.
done it with Rachel. Wincy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. The wincy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Shall we sing it again? Wincy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Well done, boys and girls. Now that spider has been creeping around and has made friends with some bunnies. But the bunnies are all sleeping. Can you lie down and go to sleep? I'm going to do it standing up. See the little bunny is sleeping till it's noon. Come, let us wake them with a merry tune. Oh, so still are they. That was a long time ago. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. And if you don't know it, I'm sure you'll pick it up very quickly. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Now, I think you might know the song about the teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. We'll sing it twice so you get the idea. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I see the teacups, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I see the teacups, hear me shout. Tip me up and pour me out. Well done, everyone. Well, this next song is one which I came across quite recently. It's a Scottish song, although it's about a familiar thing. Something I'm sure you all enjoy quite a lot of, a banana. It's a banana song, so we're going to sing Bananas, bananas, bananas are the best. And whenever I hold up a banana, can you shout banana? Bananas, bananas, bananas are the best. A nice squishy middle in a big yellow dress. Today or manana, I'll be saying nana. Can I have a banana? It's yellow and brighter than the sun. Banana. Slice it up and put it in a bun. It's a lot of healthy fun. Banana. Can I have a banana? Chorus. Banana, bananas, bananas are the best. A nice squishy middle in a big yellow vest. Today or my 
tea. Banana. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Banana. What's my Sunday dinner gonna be? Banana. Can I have a banana? your dog for a bone. Banana. Give me a jungle on my own. Banana. Can banana. I have a banana? Bananas, bananas, bananas are the best. A nice squishy middle in a big yellow dress. Today or mañana, I'll be saying can I, can I have a banana again? Bananas, bananas, bananas are the best. A nice squishy middle in a big a day or mañana, I'll be saying, can I, can I have a banana? Well done. Now, are you ready with your best singing voices to join in with Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star? Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, how I wonder what you Thanks so much for joining us today. Hope to see you next week. Bye bye!